Hello, welcome everyone. I am Ayur Rinawe and in this video we are going to see this question. It states that use MapReduce to count the number of words of each length in text. So here are 2312 words which are of which have three letters. So we have to find out how many let how many words are there of for a specific word. Or specific letter we can say so now first we are going to make a directory in our hdfs so here as you can see this is a overview and here from here we can browse our directories and to create our directory we are going to use command prompt and hadoop uh, commands so now we are in vs code and let's make one uh, folder over here and let's give it a name python so we are going to write our uh, program in python python word length and First, we will create our uh, directory. So, to create a directory, we can write a command which is hdfs dfs, and in place of hdfs, uh, you can also write Hadoop and dash mkdir is the command to create a directory which uh, simply means make directory and slash. We are going to solve it in MapReduce, that's why I am naming it MR word length. Now, when I execute it, it will create a directory. So, as you can see, there is no error, our command is successfully running. And now, when we refresh this, now we can see here word length and now it doesn't contain anything so for that uh, we can insert here our input file which will give to our uh, python script and hadoop so first here i will create a txt file and just name it input data dot txt so i will just write here this is word length program and we have created this file now and now we are going to put this file in our uh, hdfs directory so for that our command is hdfs dfs dash put so put is our command to put our file into the hdfs directory so here first we are going to provide the path from which we are going to put our data now we have to specify the path of our mm -hmm. file so here i will give so let's do it from here directly from our uh, terminal which is present in vs code and now we will give the path in which we want to put this uh, file so we want to put it in uh, our uh, root directory which is yamr word length and hit enter and now we will check it in our ui so as you can see we have our file order input data 
and uh, it is in the one block only because it is a very small file and our one block is of uh, 128 MBs and now we are going to write a python script for uh, our mapper So in here I am going to importing systems yes wise and we are doing this because uh, we need to read and write data to standard input and standard output form and now we are going to write the logic so for line in system dot nested in so now we have to remove the unnecessary white spaces which are present before and after the line which we are reading so to do that we will write line is equals to line dot trip and now we have to split the line into the words so we will write words word is equal to line dot split and by default it will split from spaces And now we are looping over the word array and print the word. So for that uh, we are going to do it with the count of 1 to the standard output. So for that uh, code we will write for word in where I will say it words or word in word because you have to iterate. and now we are going to print it so here we are going to use modulus s for iterating or for getting the string input and now length of word comma one now this is a python script for our uh, mapper and we can check it directly by running this cat and our input file name and we are going to pipe it with uh, python 3 length mapper so as you can see here it is now mapping my word length here uh, as you can see here there are two words which has only two letters so it will be reduced in our reduce.py file for that we will create a new file and we can call it length reducer and now we are going to write a python script for reducer and first we are going to read the entire line from standard input so for that and we will write for So first we will import the things and take the variables so now here we are going to import item getter so from 
operator we are going to import item getter and as previous we are going to also import your sos and now we are going to take variables for uh, current length current count and uh, word length so we are going to keep it first none and then we are going to take uh, current count and we are going to assign 0 and then word length as none and now we have to read the entire line from standard input that's why we will write for loop for line in system dot standard input now we are going to remove the white spaces line equals to line dot strip and now we are going to split the, uh, split the data on the basis of tab we have provided in mapper so here you can see this tab and we are going to split it split the data according to that tab so for that i will write word length comma count is equal to line dot split on tab comma one and now we are going to convert count to integer and currently count is uh, ring we are going to write try and for that accept block value error we are going to continue and now we are going to write if statement to increment the counter so if current length is equals to word length then current count will increment else if current length now we are going to print it so if it is not equal then uh, it will be printing So for that we will apply the same logic as previous we are going to print current length and current count so this is the length of the word 
and this is how much times it is occurring in the file and then we are going to set current count is equals to count and current length is equals to word length and now we are going to print the last line last word so if current length is equals to word length then we will just copy this one so this script uh, looks good and now we can just uh, try to run it locally by using previous command so now we are going to sort the input sort the output which we are getting and so give the input that sorted thing to the reducer so i just write here sort and i will write here length reducer dot and as you can see there is a one word which has 10 letters there is a there is there are two words which has one letter and there are five words which has four letters and list goes on like this and now we are going to run this by taking input from hadoop file and saving our output in that hadoop directory so let's see that and this is our command to run the program in hadoop so i will explaining this command line by line so at first as you can see here we have taken hadoop and we have taken a jar file and we are taking this jar file to stream our data over hadoop and then we are giving the input file which is present in our hdfs directory which is named as input data and i can show you that one this is our input file and then we switch our output uh, file where output directory where we are going to save our output so for that we are in your dash output and the path to our directory and then we give path to our mapper and here we specify the python 3 because in hadoop it doesn't have python 3 by default so we give your python 3 so it will be implicated by using python 3 so this is my mapper file and here i am giving my reducer same way as the mapper and now we are going to run this job and then i will also tell you about the localhost 808 which is basically a yarn ui to track our jobs so now i will hit enter And now as you can see our uh, job will be starting now so it is now saying map it is job running job and this is our job id and now we can see this in uh, yarn web ui so it is at localhost it is rated and here we can see our running tasks so as you can see this is our 007 application is running over here and we can see here progress as well 
and it is uh, using 37.5 percent of cluster and allocated vnodes are 2 as you can see here allocated memory is 3072 and now as here you can see output directories mr word length slash output so let's go to our uh, hadoop ui so now I'll refresh it and now as you can see our output directory is created over here and our output is our result is saved in this file so to view this file we can also use dash get command or copy to local command or we can directly view it using the cat command so to view it we will write hdfs now we will write dfs and dash cat and now we are going to see we are going to give our path so dash yamr word length slash output slash our name is um, file name is part dash zero 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 and now hit enter so as you can see our uh, result is saved in this file so to get the file we will write hdfs dfs dash get our source from where we are getting the file so we will just copy this and our uh, destination where we want to put this file so i will give this uh, path of this file in this directory and hit enter so there was some error in that path so i just gave the correct path and now this uh, command should run so yes it is running now and and as you can see here our result is present in this part file so in this video we learned about MapReduce program which is just uh, counting the length of our words and it is giving us output in this file and that is it for this video thank you